Okay, this week's rant, gallbladder flush. Gallbladder flush. So I have a patient that came to me today and said, oh, doctor, I did the gallbladder flush. And man, I had hundreds of gallstones uh, come out in my poop. And, um, you know, why didn't you tell me I had gall gallbladder trouble, doctor? Okay. If you're not familiar with it, you can Google it. The gallbladder flush has been around for a long time. Basically, you take a huge amount of oil, like a cup of olive oil, and then you wait, and then you take uh, some uh, lemon juice, okay? And uh, some salt, usually. And this stuff is supposed to go into your body and miraculously make your gallbladder release all the stones that are supposedly in your gallbladder. And then the next day, when you go to the bathroom, you're going to have ballistic diarrhea. You get a flashlight, and they actually recommend you go and you, you can look in the toilet and you can count all these stones that are floating in the toilet. Okay, so first, that's not what happens. Gallstones sink. They don't float. Okay, how do I know? I've seen gallstones. Clinically, they don't float. They sink. These objects in the toilet all float. So they're not gallbladder stones. What they are is you're giving your body the basic ingredients to make something called soap. So what these gallstones are, they're soap balls that have formed and have been stained and are passing out of your body. Simple as that. You're making soap, man. Um, and I'm not so sure that's a good thing to do, you know. Uh, unless you're constipated, I wouldn't be doing it. So um, the gallbladder flush, yeah, it's, it's bogus. It's nonsense. Don't do it. If you have a problem with gallstones, uh, go get an ultrasound, go see your primary care doctor, find out what's going on. It's a serious condition. If your stones um, obstruct the flow of bile, you can have all sorts of problems. And the gallbladder flush, in my opinion, I don't think it's such a good idea.